did a whole bunch of driveway clearing. I got a path right past the orange boxes there that go all the way down to 519. And there you could uh, maybe see a pink ribbon straight ahead. There's one to the left, but one straight ahead. That's the center line of the driveway behind the house. And I'm currently standing uh, just on the east edge of the septic field. There's a septic field. There's a LS225 HS, I guess. I don't know. What are you? MT225E, but this is a hydrostatic, so I don't know. I played with my bucket a little today. Dug a hole. It's kind of cool. I got a lot to learn. This was all uh, cut up logs like that there from the last visit. And you can see I cleared out a whole lot of that. And back here where we dug a pit where we thought the house was gonna go originally before uh, we had to elongate the driveway. So we had to move the house to the north. I started my wood pile. It's not a neat pile, it's just a pile. But uh, that's like one tree right there. Stacking it up there, loading it in the bucket and bringing it over. Push some more uh, debris out of the way. I was up here with a New Jersey Autobahn president or head, I forget. Nice guy with my forestry consultant, Heather Gracie, who is awesome. And uh, man, I have a lot of invasive species. All of these vines are not good for these wonderful trees that we have on the property. And we have black walnut, we have cherry, uh, we have some, we think hickory, I'm not sure yet. We have some Norway maple, which is an invasive, but is not a particularly offensive one. We have something called autumn olive, which is an invasive, but is also not a very um, uh, distasteful one, and the deer like them. And we have Japanese honeysuckle, which is a real bitch. Uh, that's gotta go. And a lot of that vine that you see on the trees is actually something called, I think it was barberry, which is actually a native and a really good food source for the birds and the deer. Um, but a bunch of that's gonna have to go because you can see it's, it's literally choking out the trees and there's some beautiful black walnuts and cherry trees and such in here. So all I've been doing is clearing paths and trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with all this. Um, it looks to me like, and in talking to a New Jersey Audubon guy and Heather, we're going to, we're going to do something called forest stewardship. And so we're not going to farm it. We're not going to woodland manage it and sell wood. We are going to try to return the property to a New Jersey native state. We have some challenges. We have something called stilt grass, which is, whew, that's all over the place. That's all that tan, grassy looking stuff. We're gonna have to get rid of that. We've got something called mile a minute weed, which is, again, not a good thing. Uh, we got the honeysuckle. So over the next 10 years, yeah, 10 years, we are going to uh, be um, clearing and replanting this site with natives. We are going to try to create some habitat. Uh, New Jersey Audubon Society has gifted us with a screech owl uh, nesting box. Hope to get some more. Uh, we're gonna get some bat boxes and we're gonna build a, a pollinator area on the property with uh, lots of different berries and maybe some native apples like crab apples. Maybe some pawpaw trees, uh, which is, believe it or not, a native to New Jersey. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So big project, excited. Going to try to get my permits in next week. Driveway's still an issue, but we'll figure it out. Always do. And uh, I'm done for today. I'm fried. There's my other uh, 
new chainsaw, the little one there, that's a top hand saw. That's for climbing trees. But I tell you, for doing all these little limbs, uh, it's much better than that big saw. Uh, that big saw kills. So uh, have a great day. Thanks for checking out our video. And uh, see you soon at uh, Walnut Glen.